Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so in the last video, we saved Valentina, I do believe. Unfortunately, that didn't get us very much more science. <laughs> it was just something we needed to do, obviously. You can get these monopropellant tanks. I don't think we need them. This thing can hold a surprising amount of fuel, though, I've noticed. So there's possibly some value there. A re-entry pod. Just wondering if we could take this and make a uh, two-person pod a little bit cheaper. We really need these command modules. So I think we need to do... We could probably get a curb into the moon in what we've got. Oh no, though. I think we need really low weight. We really need like the lander can. I think we need that lander can and stuff. So I think, I guess I could try to get a probe to Minmus. The only problem with that is we might need. Well, I guess this satellite has some pretty good transmitters on it. I don't know exactly how far Kerbin's transmitters work to. I know it's like... I think it starts fading off once you leave the solar system. But I'm not a million percent sure about that. Let's attempt to get to Minmus. We should have more than enough fuel in the stage that we use to get to the moon. So let's go ahead and open... Should be Fingari. Fingari 1. This was our Mooner Lander. Now, I'm going to change it a bit because we know this thing was a hunk of junk. Because now we've got KW Rocketry. We actually might need the expanded fairing base, unfortunately, but... Sometimes this thing can be a little, it can be a little weird where it doesn't really want to place. I don't really know what causes that. I think maybe there's, you have to have a certain amount of segments before it can actually, but that's weird. There it goes. More effort than it needs to be, still got some stuff sticking out, but it should be okay. Is the Communitron 16 enough now? It's 500k, it's a distance. I'm pressing. Pressing right click to pin this, but it's not pinning. There it goes. Pack it with, pan size. I think that's the distance. Yeah. 5m. I don't know exactly how distant. Oh, cancel. Game seems too loud. Why is it so loud? Fortunately, we can't mess with it here. Call this Fingari 2 for now. I need to get to the options menu. I don't know why it's so loud. I never changed anything. It's just... <laughs> That's one of those things with gaming that you learn, especially when you're... Uh, when you start streaming stuff, it's like, man, getting volume right, it's just an absolute nightmare. And it always seems to just change for no reason. Anyway. All right, we've got Fingari 2 here. You check the tracking station. I don't know if the tracking station will tell you the distance to the planets. Hopefully this is the kind of stuff that's like built into the game. Like I could look it up, of course, but altitude. 46 million. Well, we got to... Got to the moon on 11 million, so... I guess that's in meters. I'm going to assume that it doesn't need the big 
high gain antenna. I think that's for I think that's for deep space missions. Now I suppose those solar panels are fine even though we got bigger ones now. Eh. We can save on park camp by ripping these off and tossing some uh I like this on there. Do we ever get new science parts? No. Did we ever get a fuel line so that we could do asparagus staging? I do not believe so. Now, this one is a, a thingamajiggy. <laughs> it is a decoupler. But we don't want this to actually be called Fingari 2. We want to give it a new name, so let me look something up for that. All right, so the name I came up with is Multum. This is for very far in Latin. This will be first Minmus Lander attempt save and also I'd like to delete Fingari 2 here because that was an accident we also need to load Fingari 1 successful for success uh, fairing didn't deploy. All right. Now we can go back to Multum 1. Should be more than enough fuel. Based on what we saw in our last mission. To the Mun, that is. Okay. Minmus. So Minmus actually uses some of the same stuff that you learn from doing your orbital rendezvous stuff. We have to get on the same plane as it because it is not flat with us. So, to get things started, do you have any... I might need to go grab some contracts here, actually. I think I already looked at them. Let's, let's double check. Space Center. Oh, you know what? There are certain stuff we had to transmit on the way to Minmus, so we might have to put different science gear on our probe here. Oh, we should grab this new Explore Kerbin, even though we're not going to do it soon. It's a docking one. We don't even have docking modules yet, though, so it's a little difficult to do. Rescue Margus. Margus. Some of these are just civilians and some of these are actual... Uh... Actual Kerbals that you can add to your crew if you save them. So I'm tempted to do that, but... Eh. We, I don't think we can control them, so we'd have to build like a super huge thing to do it because of our limitations right now. World Survey of Minmus. Magnetometer. Yeah, we got to do a material study. Mystery goo. Okay. And just recover it. All right, material study is going to change things because that's a big chungus. I am going to shrink it down, even though people may call that cheating. It's just way too big of a thing. There needs to be a built-in tweak scale that, like, levels up as you level up. And 
one should definitely like scale like how much science you can get with one without it then Let's slap that thermometer up there and the barometer then I'm going to duplicate the mystery goo Doesn't seem like that's attaching segments maybe it is not quite right it's very difficult to get things internally situated like this there we go that'll do it okay so we gotta change the fairing Attic fairing. Let's see. Is it right click to go back? Yeah. Still don't really know. I guess it's just that it has to be in four segments. Okay. Do, do, do. Should be all good. It should be fine because of how much extra fuel we still had, but even though we added more weight, Minmus also has less gravity, so it's a bit... You don't need as much uh, Delta V to land on it once you get there. But it takes a little bit more to get there. All right. All right. I don't think we need to set Minmus as our target yet. We'll just throttle up and launch. What, are these crappy engines? Yeah, hold on. I didn't realize we launched it on such crappy engines last time too. That's gonna change things. <laughs> so engines. It's really hard to make me not pick the, the Wildcats. They are straight up too good. Like those, <laughs> that one wasn't even like the, the decent base game one. That was like the super trashy base game one that they've added more recently. Ooh, baby. That's more like it. That's what an engine actually looks like. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you know what? I didn't put the advanced canards on there or anything. It's fine. It'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. No, it's fine. Again, I don't really remember the exact way that you're supposed to do the gravity turn. I think they got, I think it got changed anyway from the tutorials that I used to watch. So now I just kind of gravity turn as much as I can while I can. Because with FAR, we're pretty limited to how far we can turn over anyway. Wrong one. Again, I don't really know what the, the new atmospheric effects mean. I think possibly when you get the red atmosphere going up, you're going too fast. But I don't know that for sure, because it used to not happen. It used to only be on re-entry. So, there we go. Honestly, the game... No, it feels a little too quiet. I think I lowered it 10% there, so that should be 5% difference. All right. Do a bit of time warp. Do -do. To keep it on trajectory though. All right. Now we can properly time warp. Okay. 
big old triple decker wildcat engine set up here should give us some really good speed do not decouple we want to deploy i've got to remind myself every time i was a little slow to boost here but it should be fine especially with the wildcats It allows me to immediately pull up my Apo apps if I turn with it because it's so so freaking overpowered. <laughs> Unlike this little thing, little piddly wink engine. I need to start putting lights on my space probe so we can light them up. So that wasn't supposed to. I guess it can stay open now. It doesn't really matter. So we'll just circleize our orbit here. Keep an eye on that periaps. Then we'll have to set Minmus as the target, get our inclinations to be the same. And then we can think about sending it. Roughly, roughly circular here. Minmus. It's actually getting close to our plane of where exactly it is. I think it's something like... First of all, at this node, we can go ahead and fix our inclination problem. Other way. Doot, doot, doot. And... Something like that. And that's actually... It's actually quite a bit of fuel to uh, fix the inclination here. But that's okay. I'll live with it. Uh, there's, there's still a lot of Delta V in the segment. According to that... Pretty close. Now, now, I think it's just a matter of accelerating and seeing what we can get. Get a gravity slingshot through the moon. The moon can actually really get in the way of getting to Minmus sometimes. Okay. My closest approach. I guess we need to see that one. I really wish there was a better way to move the maneuver nodes. Hopefully, that's something they fix in KSP2. Oop, there we go. It's actually a lot of Delta V. That's still our best way to get there, but... I think that's an encounter that'll make us impact the surface if we don't slow down, which is actually what we want. Surprisingly enough, burn time of 48 seconds. I don't know if we have that much juice in here. 
I know not. I know not. We should be able to get there. I just don't know if we'll be able to land. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Crap, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, <laughs> I was trying to get rid of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do exactly. I was trying to get rid of some of the stuff on the screen that was creating clutter, but uh, it turns out I need that stuff. Further out you get, the less and less Delta V you need to actually get there, which is pretty cool. perfectly fine on fuel. I kind of forgot that, uh, also I forgot that this kind of fairing can actually block your solar panels a bit, which, which is stinky. Go ahead and rotate like this. All right. Save game. You too. Just in case I mess up not like a, uh, like in a cheating way, but in like, I forget to, um, I forget to end the time acceleration at the right point, basically. <laughs> or sometimes you'll be like here, you'll have it on like a thousand times acceleration and you'll press the comma, but then the game lags and it's like, uh, actually you're over here now. You missed. It's like, nope, that's not what I pressed. All right, so is there any science high above Kerbin that we need? Probably not. Log temperature, reset. Yeah, I don't think there's... Toggle magnetometer. Log the data. Nope. Yeah, we need more science parts in general actually contracts mystery goo from high orbit above minmus Ooh, that might actually be a little tricky to do because we're kind of kind of crashing into it right now the orbit above minmus the orbit above minmus okay however as we see how you go from like a thousand times warp to like 50,000 times warp, and that's when things get scary. Add a maneuver. That's not what I meant to click on. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's showing me too many, too many loops. It's showing me two different uh, 
trajectories here. I'm not even sure if I need to do this burn, but I'm gonna go ahead and slot it on. Actually takes takes us an hour to get to things out here. We're we're going pretty slow now. The further away you get from Kerbin, the less delta V you need to do everything. The lot slower everything's moving. Kind of crazy. Okay. All right. Continue on our way. But we're actually out of time for this video. And yep, as we start doing these further and further away missions, it's going to start taking more than one episode to do them, I think. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.